Okay, now some, some fundamentals with the, uh, the new rope dart here. First of all, uh, this is not exactly a rope dart, as a few people have pointed out, um, and it's not exactly a meteor hammer. You know, the, the traditional meteor hammer has two weighted ends, and the uh, rope dart obviously has a steel dart at the end. This is my modification of the classic weapons. It's a, a four meter long um, single piece of silk. And the reason I chose silk is because it's the strongest natural fiber. Um, and it happens to look pretty good. So, the same as the sash whip. I use, uh, generally I design these to hold a steel meditation ball for weight, which can be removed and used for self-defense, or this can be used for, for grappling. Uh, today I'm just using a, a few rocks in a bag. Okay, now when you're using the, uh, the new rope dart, uh, you, can, you can adjust this to whatever length you need. Four meters is longer than almost anybody is gonna require. So what you do is you wrap it around this hand until you get to the, the required length, and you can unwrap it or tighten it while you're playing the weapon. But generally when I'm starting off, if my arms are extended, and you can see that the dart is about shoulder to knee, just like we do with the sash whip. Okay, so arms fully extended, shoulder to knee. This is about the length that I need for most wraps and shoots and that sort of thing. Uh, and you know, when you're starting to practice this weapon, it's, it helps a lot if you start with one of the shorter, the shorter soft weapons, like the, uh, the sash whip that I have, or uh, the nine segment lash, or the chain whip, any of these things. They teach you a lot of the close range mechanics that you need to really do this well. Okay, some of the basics of the sash whip now. Um, this is not a very sophisticated uh, wrap or tool just yet. I'm, I'm working on some modifications for the grip. But basically, I just wind it, wrap it around my hand uh, until the length is essentially, once it's tucked in here, shoulder to knee. Okay, as far as the weight and the length of the whip, there's no real science to it. Uh, I generally pick a length that is, is similar to the uh, nine segment lash because that was where my formal training was. Um, but the nature of this sash whip here is that it's going to be a little bit slower and heavier than, than a nine segment lash. So you want to pick you want to pick a length and you want to pick a weight, uh, something that both gives you power in terms of the tool, but also doesn't compromise too much speed. Uh, for me, in general, that works you know shoulder to knee in length, um, and the weight you know these are designed to to fit and hold a steel meditation ball as the weapon, which can be removed for close quarter striking or blocking. Uh, it can also be removed so that the sash can be used independently in terms of. Uh, close quarter grappling techniques. And in terms of today, my, uh, my meditation ball was confiscated at the airport, so I'm just gonna be using a bag of rocks. Uh, when you start off training with these things, you don't wanna use anything too, too hard or too heavy. Uh, it's much more important to work on the technique and make sure that you're not accidentally wrapping your body with these things, and it's very easy to hit yourself, to knock yourself out, or to, to break something. So, uh, you know, some good starter weights are basically a bag of sand, a Okay, now basic principles with the uh, sash whip. You want to make sure that as you're spinning this that it stays as close to your body as possible. Um, this is a real sticking point for most people that try to learn these things on their own uh, because it is not comfortable to have something that's heavy and, and pretty solid that close to your body when you're swinging it quickly. But the more advanced you get and when you start to put these techniques together, the further away the, the weight is from your body, the easier it is for it to get off its axis, off its center, and, and wrap a limb or, uh, or hit you in a way that you didn't expect. Um, so as you swing this thing, you want it to be as close to your body as possible.